WordPress SEO Beyond Basics How to Add Structured Data Image Object to Featured Images Keep in mind this video session will be for advanced WordPress optimizers. As we know, a typical post has a featured image. The fact is, these techniques will give you at least basic understanding for adding image object automatically. Now, this is a featured image, obviously, and it's being blurted out here. If we press on F12 on our keyboard and then look at this featured image, we'll see that it is wrapped within a div with item prop image and item type image object. So this video session will learn how we can do that. So let's dive into our local copy. What you need to do is identify where from your theme does this feature image blurt from. And as you know, the typical layout of a WordPress theme will allow you to find that information. What I tend to do is always say okay you know what where is that coming from and what's around it in this example we're looking at header section with a class so i can use dreamweaver to look for that file within my themes folder so you should know how to do this now right because it's an advanced tutorial and then you can conduct the search to say, okay, where is that coming from? And as you would know, featured images for blog posts will usually come from single.php or content single.php, template file. In this example, it's coming from image.php. But nonetheless, you can then say, okay, you know what? If it's coming from there, Makes sense. Okay, here we have another header. So basically, we need to identify where that featured image is coming from, which you may know as post thumbnail. So I couldn't find that. It seems it's after the head. So the, let's search for post thumbnail. So this is what you need to do to identify where you need to insert image object item type and when I look at this yeah the theme spot is using the WordPress at the theme spot for post thumbnails and let's see where else okay here I have identified where mine is coming from you see I already knew this because I've optimized it right but that's what you need to do to find where does the feature image come from from your theme because each thing will be different now once you identify that then it's just a matter of inserting item prop image item scope is image object which is the type and then this is how you meant to insert structured data image object correctly so it validates and that is you need to pull down get post thumbnail id function put that into a variable and then once you do that now you have access to that variable then you can get the source of that particular image which is your featured image and then once you do that and place that into thumbnail url variable you can then grab more information about that featured image which is your post thumbnail for a particular post id now once you do that then you can get the further information which is needed to validate structured data for image object which is the width and height of that featured image and you do that by using this 
title will be the post title because it's smart to add title to your images although that's not required for structured data validation and then it's just a matter of echoing the URL which will be the variable that you specify with an array index of zero that is the ID of the featured image which is the full path URL that so that is getting that and echoing that within item prop URL then you get the full size which should be the original size or you can actually change the size according to your setup then you actually hook into that image because array index zero will be the URL full path and array index one well you could actually do that as well that will be the width information and array index two will be the height information which is required for validation this is rather a bonus to add alt attribute and actually title attribute as well and i've pulled them out using this information and the alt information for that image so therefore let's look at that again actually let's see that's the alt alt is coming from here it's grabbing the alt text which is a smarter way to optimize images right should have as a wordpress optimizer we need to or any type of website optimization you need to have alt on your images why because they are indexable by google i'm doing a web search now where did google pull this from it pulled it from the alt let's look at images and you can see where it's coming from as Google index that page doesn't look like it has so far because that's a new post but if I show you a different one let's look at this one Google has indexed this then it'll prove positive to you that alt attribute of an image is important let's search google wrap them within double quotes three days ago google has indexed that on this url so now if i search for that text pattern exactly on this page it's not found on the front end why because google is pulling the alt description and that's for image search but for a web search same thing will happen so therefore proper optimization for your images need to include proper image optimization as well which includes image object for structured data remember image object structured data is not taken into equation for Google rankings and yet image alt is so therefore that's how we add image object to featured images you can tap into these codes that's the post thumbnail div which is an image object okay so you can pause this video but you should have enough knowledge about all the things I've just mentioned to you when you're working on WordPress optimization including structured data now if you do not know this then I am afraid you need to learn this if you say you are working as an SEO specialist because without knowing this how can you optimize a WordPress site so this is how it works 
basically will get the post thumbnail ID by using this function, put that into a variable, and once you do that, you know what you've got. You've got the ID of that featured image, which is your full path. Then we use this and get attachment image. So then thumbnail URL now contains that whereby we can tap into the full path using array index zero. We can grab the array index one, which will be your width of the image, which is required by structured data validation. Array index two will be your height of that image. So therefore this variable contains that information, which is an array. Then we get image ID, post thumbnail ID. So we now have a different variable containing an ID of a specific blog post. As in for this particular ID, we just grabbed the image ID. Then we can work on that by then getting the WordPress attachment image alt attribute automatically and then get the post thumbnail ID, get post title. This is the image title. And then we can wrap them within item prop properties, whether it's URL, width and height. Then when we validate our image object structured data, it will validate and Google structured data testing tool will not complain about not having certain information. So this is an advanced tutorial for WordPress optimization, including how to insert image object structured data. Keep working on your knowledge because structured data is becoming more important. So is the knowledge that you now have. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do share it and like it and I'll talk with you in the next video session.